Welcome to ArtsBlocks.com AutoCAD video tutorial series. In this tutorial we'll be creating an electrical lighting plan. This is the first of a two-part video series on how to create a lighting plan in AutoCAD. Our objectives, use Design Center to locate your electrical symbols, accurately and quickly insert and rotate your symbols into your drawing, and use running OSNAP to speed up the process. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do is locate the recessed lighting in the ceiling, and I'm going to position them 54 inches off of each wall. I'm going to create a rectangle here to locate the light symbols accurately. First thing I want to do is make sure that I've got my lighting layer set current, so that when I put my lighting symbols in, they'll go on the correct layer. I'm going to start with offset. And the first thing you want to notice is that it's asking you at the command prompt offset distance. I'm going to type in 54 and then enter. And then I'll go up. It asks me to select the object to be offset and then which side. And offset repeats itself. So select the object to offset, which side. Object to offset, which side. Object to offset, which side. I'm done with the offset command, so I'll tap the spacebar to end the command. Now I want to clean the corners, and once I have clean corners, I'll use those corners to locate my light fixtures. So to clean corners very quickly in AutoCAD, we use the fillet command. So I'll go up and select fillet off of the toolbar here. And I always check my radius setting, and my radius setting is set to zero. That'll give me nice sharp corners. So the command prompt is asking me to select the first line to create a fillet. So I pick once, twice, and it creates a clean corner. Fillet does not repeat itself, so I keep my hand on the space bar and I tap the space bar. It repeats the command very quickly. So I pick the first object, second object, space bar. First, second, space bar. First, second. And that gives me my construction lines to locate my light fixtures. Now I want to go and open up Design Center. Design Center in AutoCAD 2011 is on the Insert ribbon. Over here is the Design Center tool button. Once I pick on that, Design Center opens up. And I'm going to use Design Center to manage my electrical symbol library. So I've created a folder for electrical symbols. I'll pick on the plus mark to expand that. And then I have electrical categories and what I want is my electrical symbols. And so that drawing I will expand to be able to see what Design Center can access and what I'm interested in is blocks. Once I pick on blocks it displays all the block definitions within that drawing file and all of my electrical symbols are in one drawing file called electrical symbols. The symbol that I want to use is this can light recessed so I can pick on it once it'll display down below a preview for me it's the one I want and I want to place the symbol exactly on the endpoint so I'm going to use running OSNAP. Running OSNAP is the OSNAP button down below on your status bar I'm going to right click and release 2011. I can just pick endpoint to set a no snap really quickly in the running mode, but in older versions, you basically need to pick settings, click endpoint on, and then select OK. Now I'm ready. If I don't need to rotate my symbol, the quickest way to bring it into the drawing is just drag and drop. So I'm going to pick on the symbol that I want, holding my pick button down, I'm going to drag it out into the drawing and drop it. I'll repeat the process, drag and drop, drag and drop, drag and drop. You notice the endpoint OSNAP automatically came up because I set it with my OSNAP running mode. I'm done with my construction lines, so I'll enter the Erase command. I can go to Home, Modify, and pick Erase here. Or what I like to do is just type E for Erase. So at the command prompt, I'm going to go E, spacebar, and it brings up Erase command very quickly. 
I can do a crossing to select multiple objects or pick individual ones. The next step I'm going to place some outlets along each of the walls. So I'm going to go over to Design Center and scroll down to find my outlets and they are in an alphabetical order. And I'll just pick a duplex symbol here and for my first position I'm just going to drag and drop it over to this wall because it does need to be rotated. But one thing I want you to know is that with this particular task that I need to do is, is placing outlets and switches, I go to the O snap, running O snap, and I go to settings, and I check off endpoint, and I leave nearest as the only running O snap on. And what nearest does is it picks the closest or the nearest point on the object to the center of your crosshairs. And what that means is that you can pick any point along a line with your crosshairs and it will accurately snap your object onto that point rather than some geometric point like an endpoint or a midpoint. So with nearest set I'm going to pick OK and watch how this works. I'm going to drag and drop so I'm going to pick and drag and as I come close to my wall you'll notice the nearest O snap is now on and what it will let me do is pick anywhere along this wall that I want to place the outlet. I'll just pick right here, let go. And there it is a perfect attachment to the wall using the nearest O snap. Now the next outlet I want to place is on this wall so I'll have to rotate it. In order to rotate with Design Center you need to double click the symbol. So I'm going to double click it brings up the standard insert dialog box and I want to make sure that my insertion point is checked on to specify on screen I want to pick it and rotation is always also checked on I want to specify the rotation on screen so with the preview looking good I'll pick OK there's my outlet I'll go to the wall where I want to place it let's say I want to place it right here so the command prompt right now is asking me for the insertion point so I'll pick that places the symbol and now as I rotate I can place it anywhere I want, any angle that I want and I'm going to use nearest to snap a perfect perpendicular rotation to that wall. So once I pick it snaps exactly on the wall line and you see a perfect perpendicular 90 degree attachment of that symbol. Okay, let's finish out the rest of the outlets going to double click, pick OK, place the outlet here, swing it around, pick on the wall, double click, pick OK, and there you go. Okay, so that's placing outlets on your walls using AutoCAD Design Center. Very quick, very accurate. Let's go on to switches, okay? scroll down and find the switch that I want. I'm just going to do a single switch. Pick once. Make sure that in the preview that that's the switch that I want. That's the switch I want so I'm going to double click. Pick OK. I'm going to place my switch on this angled wall and as you'll notice I can rotate it to any side of the wall that I want. With nearest O snap I'm just going to pick on the wall and it places it perfectly perpendicular. So that's one thing that the nearest O snap will do is let you place an object aligned perpendicularly to any wall line that you want. So this is part one. Basically using Design Center to insert electrical symbols and make sure you go and see part two which will cover the wiring using the arc command and polyline arc command and I'll show you how to make perfectly tangent wiring lines from your switches to your fixtures. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Again, thank you for watching this AutoCAD video tutorial. If you need any electrical symbol CAD block libraries, be sure to visit www.archblocks.com.